While this complex deal is far from done, it's important to know what exactly is at stake. Because as we've been reporting, the outcome will impact every Rhode Island taxpayer. Eyewitness News reporter Brian Yukano continues our in-depth coverage from the newsroom. I went to the financial district in Providence to ask that very question. What is at stake? Now, most people admitted they knew very little about the pension reform legal battle, even though it's their money that's on the line. The controversial pension reform of 2011, spearheaded by then-treasurer Gina Raimondo, was about working to balance the state's budget with a goal of saving the state $4 billion taxpayer dollars over 20 years. If we go with the settlement rather than taking it through trial and costing us that much more money, it just seems that it would be a better option overall. Evan Fogel's job doesn't leave him with a pension, but he knows the legal battle is just as much about his dollar. Without the settlement, there is a long road of litigation, almost certainly all the way to the Rhode Island Supreme Court. That's more taxpayer money. According to Moody's, that legal process would put the state's finances in question indefinitely. A settlement ends the debate now. I'm 30 years old. I've been paying into Social Security for 12 years, and I'm pretty aware that I'm not going to see a penny of it. So, uh, you know, that's not a great thing to look forward to in the future. As for the workers, the deal is about their living standards. Under the reform law, most retirees won't get a pension cost of living increase for nearly two decades. On the flip side, going to trial could define if the government has the right to cut pension benefits or if retirees are owed every cent they were promised. Treasurer Magaziner has already said if this goes to trial and the state loses, another pension reform will be necessary because the state simply cannot pay those original benefits. In the newsroom, Brian Yacono, Eyewitness News. Eyewitness News has been covering the pension overhaul extensively since it first broke more than three years ago. You can go to our website right now to read WPRI.com reporter Ted Nisi's in-depth reports that explain how it started and how we got where we are today. You can also find and see for yourself the documents handed out to the retirees at today's meeting.